That little journey we did into the farm field for a few minutes, there's actually two fences. Yeah. I managed to somehow get a tick on me. The tick was in a very uh, compromising place. Good news is it looks like it wasn't latched onto me very long. Immediately pulled it off. Thank you to this one for spotting it for me. We just gotta keep an eye on that, make sure no bullseye rashes develop or anything like that. We gotta monitor that on the way to the Isle of Skye tomorrow, but I think we'll be just fine. So long, Bunch Muir Campground. It's been fun. I gotta cinch this pack up to him. Lopsided. Any words for the opening of this day? I'm tired. You poor little thing. We got her a sleeping mat that kinda held, but look at her. Look at her. She's all tired. <laughs> I'm not a camper. We are at Ayland Dunnan Castle, which is that thing right there. And it costs like 10 pounds to get in, but uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna bypass that and we're just gonna look from here. The castle was fully destroyed and rebuilt like 70 years ago or something. So it's not really a historic thing to see, but some people are paying to go in. Officially on the Isle of Skye now, and uh, we've kind of pulled up at this scenic bridge stop area that everybody takes pictures of, and there is a statue dedicated to the mountaineers that first climbed these places. Well, here we are at the tribute to the Scottish Highland mountaineers. And this one just starts climbing it. What are you, a mountaineer too? Yes. Poetry lunch break. We've got some food, and uh, I guess we're sitting on the pier for lunch today. Good choice of seating. Man of store, quick photo op. Try not to get hit by cars. This would be a great place to camp, but uh, we can't hike out this far. Maybe we could sleep in one of those boats. Actually, that would that would be nice. We probably could do that. I bet you could come out here and spend the night in one of those boats. The Vikings uh, used to tie their ships down there, and if you look over there, there's a small little caldera-like indentation little depression, uh, a raise and then a depression over there. I'll zoom in on it in a minute, and that's a Viking burial mound. All right, this one I know. We are at Kilt Rock, and it is behind us over there, and it is notorious for its columnar jointing that is shown there at the very top part of it and it's very similar to the Giant's Causeway if you've ever been to Ireland, Belfast area. Sheep run away. 
really don't like her. This one chased those sheep over there. Lots of sheep around for sure. But they don't let you pet them. No. All of this. Apparently this is the tallest point on the Isle of Skye, a bunch of volcanic rock we're standing on. Okay, so we are getting our first true test of the highlands. Uh, there are small black flies that bite you. Uh, they call them midges. There are two more midges there, one there. These things just love to bite. They are swarming up here. Uh, if the wind is too heavy, it blows them away, but it's actually a nice day. And uh, look at that, I'm getting, getting bit as we speak here. We are at the trail that we were gonna hike and wild camp off of and we got to the front of the trail and there's a sign that says no camping this is the second time that we've had an issue with this trying to camp places and it, it's just i don't know maybe it's my inexperience here but it seems like the most logical places to camp you cannot camp here and i don't know why we found this like utility road which was hidden across beyond here next to that little waterfall not bad and we saw that somebody had already camped here, so we figured maybe this isn't too bad of a place. It wasn't entirely a bad place to camp, but lots of little black biting flies. And the wood chips were a little uneven to sleep on, but everything's good. My highlight is I'm wearing my clean pair of pants today. I only brought two pairs of jeans and one shorts. Got a rash in them. 